four gallon Ryobi backpack sprayer. Fancy. This thing comes with a two amp hour battery. Apparently, a bunch of parts for the wand. A battery and a cover. I looked on a Amazon for this thing and it was pretty much like $150 so I searched homedepot.com and on homedepot.com I'll tell you how many they have at available stores well most of the stores around here had none of them and then one store had 14 which seemed really odd so but they had them comes with a small charger Cool. I guess we got some some assembly required. Well, looks like it's mostly right-handed. Yeah, the looks of it. on there this is like it's got a wand holder up here in the lid of the tank so that's pretty cool I'm guessing this is for so you don't spill water on the battery I'm guessing seems like it's not really great that's definitely the first thing to get broken <laughs> oh look comes with extra o-rings replacement seals oh well, that's cool it looks like it's for the whole for everything really somebody was saying that these things don't really like glyphosate too much but We'll see. I'll try cleaning it out every time I use it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Looks like it comes with an angled tip or a straight tip. An adjustable one. So how do you get to oh okay I got you. Yeah, yeah. O rings in there. Alright. This is an adjustable tip. I think we're gonna go with the straight sprayer here. Conventional spray tip it says it's a seven. Adjust that to where we want it when we get to that. All right. I guess we'll go grab a charged battery, get this one on charge. And Fill this thing up, see what kind of a goofy little bellows on the switch.
backpack's pretty generic, no chest strap. Have to adjust it where it fits. Not too bad though, considering the price point. Another thing I'm realizing with this is, you know, these are supposed to hold it. I mean, I don't, there's not a lot of retention on that side. Maybe it's supposed to be on this side somehow, but still there's not a lot of retention. This side's a little better than the other side. The other side's not very good. But the, the lid, the lid really holds it. You know, that seems, that seems on there really good, even if you're primed to drip right on your neck, right? <laughs> oh, fancy. It's got a nice screen in there. Okay, that's cool. Not a big fan that the handle's all the way down the bottom where all the schmoo is, but okay. Put about a gallon and a half of water in there. I can test it first, right? Three amp hour battery. It says it'll pump 40 gallons on a two amp hour battery. I don't know, we'll see. That feels funny, huh? Oof. Might need the adjustable tip. This says it's a seven degree tip, I guess. I've got some other tips. I'm going to go grab a different tip because I don't like how broad that is. I'll go get like a, I got a bunch of different tips. Let me go see what I got. I got this blue tip. I don't remember what the blue one does. Or the degree, it's all worn off. Let's see if this thing will even take regular tips. Nope. Okay, well. Oh yeah, it is. All right, standard tip size, so it's good. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay, so we'll go with that tip, it's not as wide. Doesn't seem like it anyway. All right, well, I don't see nothing leaking, so I guess the next step is mix some stuff up and start killing some weeds.
pumps it out pretty good. I like you. Well, there's the first half tank. I like, you can reach the button pretty easily too. But, not too bad. I think I'm going to try the adjustable tip next time. This one's still a little bit too much. I probably need a yellow tip. Alright y'all, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. It definitely fits the hose better back here.